<laughs> Merry Christmas, Rooster. Is it Christmas? Is it Christmas? We're going to find out, aren't we? I don't know. I've been in that room. I see stuff. Come on. Smile. Smile. <laughs> I'm you just ready? filming you, Rue. What's going on in there? Did Santa come? Did Santa come, Rue? <gasps> Santa did come. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Straight for the teddy bear. Daddy's really proud. You got a teddy bear, monkey. But, but he can't be too proud because that's from Santa. <laughs> Santa brought you a stocking, Riley. That's your stocking from Santa. And a princess castle. And a boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Game over for Teddy. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with herself. <laughs> What do you do with yourself, Riley? Are you so excited? Yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Dunks has Riley upstairs in the bath, so I thought I would go through as quickly as I could what Riley got for Christmas. Um, but it is it has already taken me like half her bath time, just resetting everything up because it's been spread out all through the house. She's been playing all morning, which has been amazing. Um, I'm gonna talk about these pieces that are in front of me first, just because they're really obvious and then I can kind of get some pieces out of the way so I can show you what else she got but um these are the things that she got from me and my husband um originally she was just supposed to get this arc I was collecting these castle pieces for her to get next year um and I was going to collect more which I still think I'll do and I'll just I'll still give her the extra pieces next year but she's really gotten into castles and princesses lately so I didn't want to miss the boat on that and I um, just thought I would introduce these pieces while she's really into that topic. So she's got the um, Ostheimer arc, like I said, this is the one that's just one solid piece. It's, they make a different arc that's convertible into a pirate ship. This is not the convertible one. I really like the idea of the convertible one that has the pirate ship pieces, but I really liked the aesthetic of this boat more. And I know Riley will still happily use this as a pirate ship as well. Um, so this is the one that I went with. Um, and it's just, it's absolutely stunning. Um, this piece lifts out so you can get to the inside of it. She's got some furniture pieces in here right now that she brought from upstairs. Um, Cause she's already been playing with the, um, the little cabin on top and like putting people inside of it. She has been so into her small world play and role play today. She hasn't stopped all day long. Um, the only way he enticed her into the bath is because she's up there with some of her new toys. Um, yeah, but anyway, there's a set of stairs for the inside and the outside. Absolutely stunning. And she's been going back and forth between the castle and the boat all day. Um, she already has a collection of Ostheimer animals that we've collected since last Christmas. Um, so I've only added on the polar bear and the sea lion um, for this Christmas because she's got lots of years ahead of her to collect more animals and she's already got quite a big collection um, in my opinion. Obviously everyone has a different opinion on what is a lot. Um, and then she has also got this horse um, that I've put with the carriage and this is new. All of the other like little people and characters that I have out, um, she already had those. I just kind of put them out for like the display for her to like see and play with when she came down Christmas morning just to kind of like let her dive straight into some small world play. So I've already kind of showed it but she also got this stunning Ostheimer carriage. All these pieces are by the same brand Ostheimer um, which is a really lovely um, German make of toys and they make everything by hand and out of wood. Um, they're just really beautiful, timeless, classic toys that just have a really heirloom quality to them. They're the kind of toys that you want to hold on to forever and like keep for your grandkids or have it like, you know, handed down through the generations. Will that actually happen? I have no idea, but um, they're going to get a lot of love 
from Riley alone. So that's enough for me. She got this really beautiful um, pawn plate also from Ostheimer. Um, and this actually came from my parents. Or actually, I'm not gonna say what everything came from or who everything came from just because, I don't know, I don't think that's really that important. But um, she got these pawn plates also from Ostheimer. And I've just got a little froggy on there. But this is really fun. The thing, I was never really into the Ostheimer pond until I saw something on um, Facebook in one of the groups that I'm in. Somebody had used the outside of the pond and they just put a little brown play silk in there and they used it as a mud, like a muddy puddle. Um, and Riley loves muddy puddles. <laughs> and funnily, that's what sold it to me. Like that's what made me really want her to have one. So she's got that. All right. And I'm just gonna move a couple of these castle pieces out of the way so I can keep showing you um, the rest of what she got for Christmas. So, um, like I said, that's what was from me and my husband, Duncan. Um, everything else is from family, with the exception of her Santa stocking. Obviously, me and my husband sorted that out as well. Um, so actually, I'll go through the Santa stocking first. Um, she kept saying she wanted two things from Santa this year. A teddy bear and a yo-yo. Thank you, Peppa Pig. Because <laughs> basically this is what Peppa Pig wants from um, Santa in the episode that Riley has been watching over and over recently. So she kept consistently asking for a teddy bear and a yo-yo. And funnily enough, I think you guys would have already seen in the clip, but she came downstairs and she went straight past all of these beautiful toys for the teddy bear. This is the first thing she grabbed. Um, which made my husband really proud because he went out of his way the other day because he was like dead set on the fact that she had to have a teddy bear because she kept asking for it. Um, yeah, so we love that. This is just a, a jelly cat teddy bear. Um, I think it's like in the medium size. Um, the yo-yo's by Hape, if anybody's wondering. Hape, happy, hap, Hape. Um, Blackbird call, she's been playing with this all day long as well. She's been playing with all of her toys. She's played with everything. Um, anyway, this Blackbird call is beautiful. It's by the brand Flights of Fancy. Um, and you just blow in and out. It's just from a piece of wood and then there's like a little metal insert on the bottom. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Can you hear the birds talking back? Yeah. I love this so much or she loves this so much that I'm definitely going to look at getting one of their other bird calls for her Easter basket. Because I'm already thinking about her Easter basket, yes. Um, that is what a sad, sad soul I am. Always thinking about the next thing I can get her. Is that bad? That is kind of a little bit bad. Um, the last thing in the stocking right now is this little, um, one of the shows that she watches on TV is Shimmer and Shine. Um, so she's got this little, it's one of the little surprise kind of toys that you get where like, you know, it's like a blind bag. So she got a little Shimmer and Shine thing. Um, she also had some back paints in the stocking, but she's playing with them right now with some, um, something else she got for uh, Christmas. Well, duh. Something else she got are these little characters from PJ Masks, which is another show that she watches. Um, so these are like the bad guys and she's got the good guys upstairs. So she's got the main characters upstairs in the bath with her with the bath paints. And that is what she's playing right now with daddy in the bath, PJ Masks. She's obsessed with this show at the moment. Um, really into the whole superheroes idea. So that is something else that she's got. Um, so we're getting into like presents that came from like all different family members and friends. Duncan has uh, three sisters plus his parents plus my sister plus my parents and we have some close um, friends that also are so kind and loving to buy her gifts. She's a very lucky girl. She's got a lot of people that love her and care for her. So it's a lot of presents and I'm going to try to speed through this. Um, this is really cute. Uh, one of her favorite dinners is just spaghetti and meatballs. So this is just a little um, play version of it that she can 
make in her kitchen and the spaghetti actually comes apart. This is by the brand Haba, H-A-B-A. And the spaghetti is actually like in individual strands. So she can like pretend to cook this in her kitchen and then put it all back together. And she has made me eat many plates of spaghetti today. So that's been really fun. Um, I'll go through. She got these really cool crayons by the brand um, Stabilo. If I'm saying things wrong, sorry guys. Um, but these are really, really cool because they're called like three in ones. So these are regular, they're, they're like wood, so they're like a colored pencil, but they come up like a crayon and they're chunky like a crayon. But you can also paint them with a paintbrush and then they um, turn into watercolors. So she's been doing that on the inside of this box, but they like, they turn into really nice quality watercolors. They don't like, they really spread um, beautifully and the colors are really opaque. Um, and then the best part of these, cause we've got a conservatory, conservatory, how do you say it? I think you say it both ways. It's just potato, potato. But um, so we've got like a lot of glass windows and everything and you can draw straight on glass with these and they wipe right off, um, which we've already tested this morning. She was drawing in the front window. Um, and when I, went to, when I went to wipe it away, it came straight off very easily. Um, so these are going to be lots of fun for just art projects and everything in the future. A child can never have enough markers and crayons and pencils. I mean, realistically they could, but they go through it or Riley goes through her art stuff. She loves it. Um, she got this magnetic book um, by the brand Janad. And this is really, really cool because um, it's just, it's got like four seasons and they're on little cards here. And then they've got these magnets so she can switch, um, she can switch the scenes out and there's like people with like different outfits. So she can do a winter scene. She can do a spring scene. Um, the magnets are nice and chunky. Um, she actually got this early when her Nana was visiting and she's already played with it loads and loads and loads and loads. So this has been a really big hit. This is actually a really great present that I've like kind of filed away into my mind for like birthday presents and stuff like that for other kids because it's like a really good price point and it's a good size. It's perfect for like taking with you if you're traveling because it doesn't take up a lot of space but it keeps their attention for quite a long time. So I think this is something that I'll be gifting um, in the next year to like whatever kind of parties and whatnot that we might be going to. Every kid gets like a stack of books for Christmas, right? Um, so she's got the story of the Root Children and we've already read this to her. Um, it's a really cute and sweet story. She's got a unicorn coloring book. Uh, this is a really, really cool one. This is Power to the Princesses and this is 15 Favorite Fairy Tales Retold with Girl Power. And the whole idea of this is it says, what if princesses didn't always marry Prince Charming and lived happily ever after? So that's kind of cool. It's a really fun, uh, like girl power version of fairy tales. She got Sugar Lump and the Unicorn. Uh, this is like a Where's Waldo for unicorns. So it's find the unicorn horns. <laughs> and Lots, The Diversity of Life on Earth by Nicola Davies. Um, I have a book called The Book of the Sea, also by Nicola Davies and illustrated by Emily Sutton. And it is like my favorite book that Riley has. So Dunks got her this one, um, just cause like the um, illustrations and the storyline are all really, really lovely. So. This is going to be a really nice one to kind of treasure and um, a shape sorting clock, which is really good for this age right now. I have said Riley is three, so like she knows her numbers, but she's not super, super great with them. It's not her favorite thing. So that kind of stuff is great for her at this age. Um, this bag she already had, but I've just used it to house um, this little cosmetic set she got. Um, I don't remember the brand of this. It's just um, 
kind of like a random brand off of Amazon, but um, came with like a little eyeshadow, an applicator, a little mirror, and this did come in its own like little box with a latch, but it was quite a big box and I knew it was gonna drive me crazy and I had already gotten it dented before it even got wrapped up. So I just transferred it to this bag, which she already had um, and gave it to her that way. This was, um, this was from somebody else, but I had picked it because they had given me a gift card, if that makes any sense, to buy her something. So that's the story behind that. But um, a little perfume. This is cool because it's got a little hand cream with like this screws off and on and Riley's had a lot of fun doing the screw on that. Little blusher, a comb, a little nail polish. She's done my nails a thousand times today with that. And a lipstick. Every little girl or little boy. Anybody with a mummy that wears any kind of lip balm or lipstick is obsessed with lipstick. Sorry, that was a sexist comment that I made there for a second, and I do apologize for that. <laughs> so she's got her little cosmetic set, which she has been loving all day long. That's kind of been like a bit of a surprise. I knew she would like it. I didn't anticipate how much she would love it. So that's been a big hit. She got her own backpack. Um, and her Nana put the jingle bells on it. It did not come with the jingle bells, but Riley's obsessed with the jingle bells on it. Um, and it's just, it's just a backpack. It's a really, really cute backpack. I'm not going to be able to say this, but it's by the brand Zucchini. 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 Um, this is Ali the Alicorn or something like that. Ali the Alicorn. It's like a unicorn, alicorn. I'm just talking to talk at this point. Let me shut up. <laughs> uh, this is really special. My sister made this. So she made Riley this little mermaid skirt for dressing up. And then she's also got a mini one that fits on her teddy bear. Or it would fit on pretty much any of her little dollies or stuffed animals. And then my sister also made, my sister made these like with her hands, well, with her sewing machine, but you know what I mean. She also made her this really lovely um, baby doll carrier. Really, really sweet. What else, what else? A little child-sized umbrella. I'm gonna open this indoors to show it to you guys. I don't believe in that luck. Because we only have good luck in this house. But this is really cool. It's a planet umbrella. And it has like, it changes some colors when it gets wet. Some of the planets change colors. I think about the end of everything. So lastly, she got this, um, I'm missing something. Something else is, oh no, I'm not missing it. It's just hanging on, the, they're all hanging on the same thing. She got this um, broom and mop and dustpan, whatever, set. This is by the brand Melissa and Doug. Um, she already has like a mop and a broom, but it's like, they're literally half the size. Like these are already child sized. Like the mop and broom set that she has is like half the size. And it's like a really, really, really cheap plastic. and they're more just toys you couldn't really clean with them um these ones it is like a toy but like if she wanted to like actually sweep with this she could like actually sweep with this and it would pick things up um you know she could really like if i was mopping like i would let her put this in like the solution and like swish it around the floor i wouldn't really care um the duster would really pick up dust you know like they're they're actual pieces that like if she wanted to role play um you know it's a toy but if she also wanted to just help me clean she might actually clean up a little bit with me so that would be lovely i would love that um and that's been riley's christmas she's had such a fun day she's been playing all day long non-stop it's got a bell on it as well Inside the castle. Yeah, she's inside the castle. And guess what? He has got a friend. Guess what? It is his friend. This is his friend. That's his friend. Yeah, that is his friend. It's 
been so beautiful to just see her so into her play. I mean, she has really hardcore played today. She's like not even stopped to eat. Um, so maybe in hindsight, I wouldn't have given her everything, but the reality is, is yes, I would have. Um, I don't think I would have done it any other way. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have had an awesome Christmas as well. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will see you for my next video. Bye guys.